Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting question from algebra. We have one quartic equation known and the product of two of the four roots is also known it is minus 32. We have to find unknown k which is coefficient of x square. So let's get started. I will be solving this question in two ways. So let me write here method number one. And let's say roots are A, B, C and D. Now we'll be writing all the terms to one side. So I can write x power 4 minus 18x cube plus kx square plus 200x minus 1984 equal to 0. Now we can use Vita's method and write product of roots. So A times B times C times D, this is equal to minus 1984. As per problem, we can consider, let's say CD equal to minus 32, product of two roots. This is given to us. So in place of C times D, we can write minus 32. So I will write AB times minus 32 equal to minus 1984. Now we have to divide by minus 32 both sides so that we can calculate AB value. So AB will be equal to 62. So A times B is 62. C times D is given in the problem minus 32. Now we are going to express our quartic expression which is in the left hand side of the equation product of two quadratics. So if I will write here I can write quartic first x power 4 minus 18x cube plus kx square plus 200x minus 1984. This quartic expression will express as a product of two quadratics. So I will write x square plus mx minus 32 times x square plus nx plus 62. So if we will multiply both the brackets, our constant would be minus 1984, which is true. Now we have to multiply these two brackets. So once we will multiply, we are going to get x power 4 as leading coefficient or leading term coefficient would be 1 plus m plus n times x cube plus mn plus 30 times x square plus 62m minus 32n times x minus 1984. Now we will compare coefficients from both the sides. If I will compare coefficient of x cube, I can say m plus n must be minus 18. If I will compare coefficient of x square from both the sides, I can write our second equation mn plus 30 equal to k. And if I will compare coefficient of x from both the sides, I can write equation 62m minus 32n equal to 200. Now from these two equations, I will solve and find m and n. Then we are going to put over here. We'll be able to see our answer or unknown k. So what I will do here, I will divide second equation by 2 first. So I can write 31m minus 16n equal to 100. Now I will multiply our first equation m plus n equal to minus 18 
by 16. So let me write here 16m plus 16n equal to minus 18 times 16 minus 288. Now we have to add these two equations. Once I will add these two terms will get over. 31 plus 16 is 47m will be equal to minus 188. Now we will divide both sides by 47 to get the value of m. So from this equation I can write m equal to negative 4. Once m is known, we can put the value of m here to get the value of n. So m plus n is minus 18. Let me write here. m plus n is minus 18 with m value minus 4. So let us put minus 4 plus n equal to minus 18. We will add 4 to both sides. n will be equal to negative 14. So n is minus 14. m is minus 4. Now we can easily find out value of k. k was mn plus 30. Put the value of m and n. m is minus 4. n is minus 14 plus 30. So we can write here 56 plus 30. We will get our answer. Unknown k must be equal to 86. This was our method number 1. Now we will consider method 2. So let me write here method number 2. Here we will use Vita's method. So let me write our equation once. x power 4 minus 18x cube plus kx square plus 200x minus 1984 equal to 0. Let's say roots are a, b, c and d. So we can write sum of roots a plus b plus c plus d. This is equal to 18. Sum of roots taken two at a time. So we will write a, b plus a, c plus a, d plus b, c plus bd plus cd. This is equal to k. And we will write sum of roots taken 3 at a time. So we will write a, b, c plus a, b, d plus a, c, d plus b, c, d equal to negative 200. Now we will consider the third equation and from here we can take AB common out. So in bracket we need to write C plus D. And from these two terms I can take CD common out. So in bracket I will get A plus B equal to minus 200. Now we have AB equal to 62. So here we can write 62 times C plus D. CD was minus 32. So we will write minus 32 times A plus B equal to minus 200. Now we will assume, let's say A plus B equal to M. Here we will call this is M and here we will consider this is N. So I can write one equation 62N minus 32M equal to minus 200. Now we will divide this equation by minus 2. So we can write our equation 32n. Let me write equation here. Here it is. Now we will divide both sides by minus 2. So let's divide by minus 2. We will get our equation 16m minus 31n equal to 100. Now we will consider our first equation if I will write here a plus b plus c plus d 
this was equal to 18. So m is a plus b, n is c plus d. So we can write here m plus n equal to 18. Now we will multiply second equation by 31 and then we will add with this equation. So I can write both the equations 16m minus 31n equal to 100 and here I will write 31m plus 31n equal to 18 times 31, 558. Now we are going to add these two equations. So plus and minus 31n will be over 16 plus 31 is 47m and right hand side we are going to get 658. Now the value of m will be 658 divided by 47. We are going to get m14. Now m is 14 and we have equation m plus n equal to 18. So we can write the value of n would be 18 minus m equal to 18 minus 14 value will be 4. So m is 14, n is 4. Let me write here. m is 14 and the value of n is 4. Now we will write k. k is equal to ab plus ac plus ad plus bc plus bd plus cd. Now we will write AB and CD. First AB plus CD. Then we have AC and AD. So I can take A common out. So I will be writing A common in bracket C plus D. And from these two terms I can take B common. So we will get C plus D. I can write here AB is value is 62, CD is minus 32 plus we will take C plus D overall common. So in the bracket we can write A plus B. Now A plus B is M, C plus D is N, 62 minus 32 is 30 plus MN. Now we need to put the value of MN. To get the value of k, m is 14, n is 4. Again we are going to get 30 plus 56. So our answer using Vita's method will be equal to 86. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.